What is up guys, it is Tony here and today we are doing Tony's Tech Time, this is the first video of the series. Today we are going to be doing a $300 gaming build. I'm going to show you all the parts, walk you through step by step, and show you where you can get the best prices. You'll find the links down in the description, so let's get this thing started. Okay, so first off we have the brains of the machine. For $65 I found the Intel Pentium i7 G630, which is a very good processor for the price and won't limit your gaming at all. It is a dual core, 2.7 GHz processor with 3 MB of cache, and it is Sandy Bridge, which is Gen 2. So it is a very good processor and it will last long in your gaming machine for a very nice price. Next up we got the video card, which we went to the EVGA GTX 550Ti. This is a great graphics card for bang for your buck. It's $135 and you get 1 gigabytes of video RAM which is plenty enough for most games nowadays and this will run Battlefield 3 plenty fine at high settings and possibly ultra if you're running at a lower resolution of 720p. So this is a great card, it's also SLI ready in case you want to upgrade it in the future and do SLI. Next up is the motherboard that's going to house all these components. So you got the $45 ASRock H61M motherboard. Uh, it's LGA 1155 Sandy Bridge uh, generation. It's micro ATX, so it only has one PCI Express slot, but it is 2.0 to house that 550 Ti. Next up for the memory, we got $17 Crucial Ballistic Sport memory. This is 4 gigabytes and one DIM, which means you can easily upgrade this to two DIMs of 8 gigabytes. And this is plenty enough for uh, most modern games today, including Battlefield 3. Uh, but if you do want to upgrade, it's very easy to do. All you got to do is buy another DIM of the same type of memory and stick it in your motherboard. You have two slots, so it's very easy to do with the H61 motherboard. The next up is what you're going to store all your files with. This is the $35 Seagate DB35. This is the most cheap hard drive I could find online, but it does not skimp in performance. It is 7200 RPMs, and at 300 gigabytes, you'll be able to hold your OS and a good amount of games easy. If you want to store uh, video files and other types of things, uh, you definitely want to upgrade to 500 gigabyte or a terabyte, which would be included in the $400 build I'll be doing soon. Alright guys, so next up here, to hit that $300 price range, we had to go a little bit cheaper with the power supply, but it is a 575 watt power supply that does support PCI Express and has SATA, which is a lot of great features for such a cheap power supply, but I would like to warn you that warning at the bottom is not a joke. This is a very unreliable power supply. I would recommend that within six months of buying this, you do consider upgrading to a Corsair power supply, hopefully with a better uh, rating in terms of uh, overall power efficiency, just because this power supply might have a high chance of dying out on you. All right, so next up here, we got the $17 DIY PC ATX case. This is a uh, very good feat here. I found a case with a uh, front I.O. panel, all the bits and bobs that you want, including an 80 millimeter fan for such a low price. I mean, when you're looking at a PC that's only $300, you better skimp out on the case. That's the one place where you're not going to get anything fancy looking. And to find one at this price with such uh, amazing features that some cases that are even $50 or $100 don't even include, this is a great deal. So this is the case to go with here. And that is your Tony's Tech Time for December 31st, 2012. I hope you guys have a good New Year's Eve. And I hope you guys uh, drive home safe if you drink a bit. And I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on how to build a $300 gaming PC. I plan on doing another one very soon with a much more expensive build. In fact, the most expensive build I'll probably do in this series. And I also plan on doing some more that are more affordable, including a $400 build, $500 build, etc., etc. I don't think I can go lower than $300. This is the smallest you can get here. Uh, but if you only have $300 laying around and you're just a young kid and you don't have a lot of money saved up, this is the way to go and it's a great machine and I think you guys will enjoy the build overall. And it's definitely a machine you can upgrade in the future overall, so that's a great thing to have in mind. Anyway, that's pretty much it. I am Tony. Once again, have a great New Year's Eve and drive home safe if you are drinking or partying. And uh, that's pretty much it. I am Tony and I'll see you guys next year.